I'm going to tie my version of a caddis pupa and I'm starting off with a size a 10 scud hook and I'm going to add some additional weight to this. I'm just going to take some wraps of my lead maybe just six or seven wraps there break off the excess alright and the thread that I'm going to use for this is a an 8 uh, and this is an olive done so I'm just going to get that started with a couple wraps in front and then reach all the way back and then go through the lead to make sure that doesn't go anywhere and I can break off that end section all right, for the the backing and what will be uh, some of the wing buds, I'm going to use a mallard flank. Um, so I'm just going to take my piece of mallard flank here, and I want to pull out a section that's going to be long enough to cover the entire back and stick out the front, uh, so that it can create a little bit more bugginess. So I'm just taking a, a section that's about an inch in width, and I'll measure this out so that when I tie it in it's going to be able to go over the back and then stick out the front and I want it to stick out a little bit further so I'm just going to move it down on the hook shank measure it out to about where I want it to be and that's going to be about right so then I can just tie it in I'm not going to bother cutting the ends it's all going to get wrapped in anyway so I'll make some wraps there, make sure it's in good and tight. And also work to build up, start that transition between the lead and the body. This does have a ribbing as well, and so I'm going to use, and this is a uh, chartreuse small copper wire. Uh, so I'm just going to get that, or sorry, chartreuse ultra wire. And so I'm just going to get that tied in as well to behind the lead. and then don't need to get real pretty with it but I do want to make sure that there's a somewhat smooth transition between that lead point alright and now I'll bring it to just past the point of the hook and I'm going to tie in my body material and for that I'm going to use uh, an ice dub and this is an olive ice dub and so I'll just take a pinch of that put it on pretty thick here on my on my thread and then I can just start to take my wraps And once I'm happy with that, then I can pull this mallard flank over top and pull it tight and you can see how it's going to make that back section and then I'll tie that in. And I'll tie it in all the way to just behind the eye. And I'll bring my thread back up. And now I can advance my wire around the back of that creating that ribbing and then I can tie that in and I can break that off alright now for the next piece I'm going to tie, I'm going to use some soft tackle hand and I'm going to tie this in just like it's a, the front of a wet fly. So I'm going to take a section off and I'm going to clean out just the, just the bottom section here. And then I'll pull the fibers back 
and I'll tie this in by the tip. So just get a handful of turns in there and I can clip that front part. That might take just a little bit more off the back here. Since I broke off the stem, and I'll clip that on. And then I always like to wet these fibers back so they start to lay on top of one another. And I'll pull them all back as I go. And once I've come all the way around, then I can tie that off. Now I'll just make sure I've captured all of those soft tackle fibers back. And when I get to the top, then I'm just going to kind of split it into two sections and pull those down and just make my wraps just so that they lie on either side. You can see how that starts to look. All right, now I'll take my ostrich plume here and I'll take off two strands. And this is just a gray or a dun. And I'll tie this into the side. And I'll bring my thread down to where I want it to end. And sometimes this can be the most challenging part of the of the pattern because these will want to separate like they did just there. And so you can do a do a couple things. You can just work with what you got here with the two, or you can take one strand and just double back on itself to make sure it stays. Or uh, I'm holding it here with my with my finger. And then I can also twist these together. And sometimes that helps. Alright. And once I'm satisfied with that, then I can just come back through and tie that off. Trim those edges. And then I'm going to take my mallard flank that's sticking out of the front, and I'm going to pull those pull those back and do the same thing. I'm going to push those on on either side. And then take a couple of wraps and once you bind them down then they're going to stay in place. And then just kind of situate those how you want them. And now I can just take my whip finish tool. I'm not going to put too much of a head on that. Get everything locked down. Then I can snip my thread. And then you can adjust the, the fibers if you need to. And if you like uh, to use head cement, you certainly can. So there it is. That's my uh, caddis pupa. Not too bad of a fly to tie if you can get the ostrich hurl to cooperate for you.